For all your advertising, networking, and promo, make sure you reach out. Gully TV Boss at Gmail. Gully TV Boss at Gmail for all your marketing and promo. Peace. Yo, yo, mic check. Yo, 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 mic check. Yo, yo, good. Let's get him. All right, you good, uh, thank you. What uh, what joint, what joint we going with? That joint that you had just had pulled up, Planet Asia and them. So that joint with Planet Asia and them that you was just playing. All right. Uh, what else you got? You got one other one on there for the end. We can get to it. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but this is a whole nother computer right here. Word. Yeah. All right. I got you. But, I mean, I got all the sound effects and all that. All right. You ready? That joint is cool. Do you still got that Bismarcky joint? Right. You that I like that joint. I like that joint. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. It is live. <laughs> Turn that shit up. I Will I be able to hear it on the monitors? Huh? Will I be able to hear it on the monitors? Like, can you play it, play it? Can I hear it? Because yeah. I'll get, you know what I mean? Get it in my vibe and shit. Are you ready? Yeah. Nittage. Are you ready? Nigga said, man, you look like you about to spit something. We good? I touched the mic a little bit. Let's go. Hold on, check one more time. Are you ready? Yeah. 
Mic check, mic check. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, The Real Gully TV. Hit that bell so you get the notifications when you get the fresh uploads and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Hit me at Gully TV Boss at Gmail. You want some marketing and promotion? You already know how I do. Shout out to everybody following on Twitter. We're about to get it going. Nick, you ready? Let's go. I can't hear it. I want to hear it. Can I hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah, I just it, turn it up a little bit. If you can. Right. Let's get them. Play my song. Play my. Uh, 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 uh. Shout out to the truck drivers, everybody across the nation tuning in to the dribble. Uh, uh. That's my shit. That's my shit. <laughs> I be needing to hear that, man. Shout out to everybody tuning in, Nick, man. Let's get it going. Word. Damn, that bitch shit does something to me, man. I, uh, last night, I had my, um... I had my shorty. We went through something, man, with a with the subscription for Paramount. Because if you want some um, content that's on the Showtime app, you gotta, you know, download the Paramount app. That's where all Showtime content is on on the Roku and shit. But I was trying to watch that biz joint last night, man. I've been hearing a lot about that shit, man. My cousin told me it's fire, and I need to see that, man. I'm inspired by. The music of Biz Markie, man, it always can get a great reaction out of me, man. I think that's very, very important in a hip hop song and shit. That's 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 what they call it, timeless music. Anyway, I just uh got off of Instagram. I was on the Instagram the last couple of hours and shit. I'm suspended from going live on Instagram on my Gully TV page, but I posted a video of a mother, her son, and a guy that she's dating or whatever. I guess he lived with her and the the guy was telling the mother that she needed to put her son out because he, uh, he said he wanted to, um, you know, he said he might want to, he said he paid bills there. He might want to walk around naked or some shit like that. The son's 29 years old. It's her only child, by the way. I have to put some emphasis on this being her only child, but this nigga was in this lady's kitchen, basically in, a, in an argument with her. She said, man, you crazy. You got to go and shit. I'm not putting my son out. This is my only son. Is you crazy? And I thought that was great representation on mom's behalf and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think that more women should stick up with, uh, stick up for us in that regard. As far as the, the scenario of him being at home and shit like that, nobody looked into you know, the the personal logistics of the story, whether or not homeboy just come home from prison, whether he just came home from the military, whether he's disabled, whatever the case, him and his mother was getting along before this guy that she was dating or whatever, the guy that was screaming that he paying the bills before he came along, they were getting along just fine and shit. And she was perfectly fine with him being at home. Um, I thought I, I thought that was some sucker shit. I, I me personally and shit, I, I would have went ballistic on him right there in the kitchen. Like the nerve of you, she just told you. Not that you should even be questioning my mom on the living arrangements in our crib and shit. You feel me? Married or not, he wasn't even married to her allegedly. But even if they was fucking married, nigga, I don't give a fuck. You don't question the living arrangements up in this motherfucking house. We existed before you got here and. You know, this marriage situation in this day and age has proved to be been, uh, be temporary at times. So you basically implying that she should put her son out for you. What if what if uh, your relationship, you know, don't go the way that, that, that you plan? How do you think her relationship with her, with her son is supposed to resume in your absence and shit? You know what I'm saying? Family is family before you got there, nigga. I didn't I didn't respect that shit. Not only that, I was in a similar situation, not directly 
I was in a similar situation um, where my mom married a nigga after my pops and shit like that. And I remember a period of time when he thought that he was going to enforce some rules and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we had some conflict. Uh, he's the first person that I shot at. He the first nigga that I shot at, man. Like when I was watching this video of this dude telling this woman to put her son out in the crib, out in the streets, I just was mm, that. Uh, it's a name for it. They call it a stepfather or whatever. I don't know. I, I don't believe in that shit. You know what I'm saying? My pops is always in my life. I just I didn't take I didn't take that well of a, another guy. You know what I mean? Even the, the nigga don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, my nigga. Like, you're here for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be trying to instill, you know, no, enforce no policy or nothing like that, man. Like, that's just what it is. But you had people in the comments saying, well, he's 29 years old. Da, 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 da. Man, if a motherfucker wants to stay home with his mother and she wants him here, she said, this is my only son. You feel me? He can stay here as long as he wants. That's what it is and shit. It's mothers who have lost their sons. I bet you if you go to uh, FBG Duck's mom and say, yo, do you wish you could have kept your sons in the house with you? You know what I'm saying? Do you wish you, wish you could have kept an a, a, a eye on your sons? You wish you could have had them in the crib with you and shit like that? She was, She would tell you right away. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wish out in the streets for someone who's 29. If they don't have a career or have something that's occupying their time. In this day and age, 29 years old. That's the, that, the, them is the years when you like kind of like club crazy and shit. Going to hanging out and shit like that. You know what comes with that in this day and age and shit. A lot of violence and shit. Your kid ain't promised to return home at night. So she got hers at home. This is the only son she has and shit. This is the, her, her only kid. She can be possessive. I, I I think it's unconditional love. If 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 she says it's cool, and they're existing, it ain't it, it ain't none of this this other nigga business. Period and shit. Like Shorty could be at the crib twenty nine, right, trying to get a clothing line off the ground and shit, or trying to get some type of career off the ground. He should he could be an aspiring musician. He might have his mother who believes in his aspirations. So you can sit here. In that bedroom with that keyboard, and make them motherfucking beats till you get right. That's their personal decision. I think we 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 need more support. I think we need more support um, in that regard. I understand the instilling responsibilities and shit. She was there. She was in the home. She he she she's been his mother for twenty nine years and shit. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know, she got a great way of communicating with her only child and shit. You got a third party coming to the table telling her, yo, you need to put this nigga out. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. And I, I pay the bill. She said, man, you can get the fuck up out of here for real, nigga. You you should leave. But that's a conflict that was on my um, IG. Make sure you follow me at I am Gully TV underscore. I, uh, I didn't like that shit at all. People was talking about it was like the baby boy scenario and shit. Nigga talking about he want to walk around in the crib naked and shit like that. Nigga, everything that you're saying, all of this shit that you're enforcing, you want to, you know, you paying bills and you want to walk around in the crib naked. Sound like you should have your own crib, my nigga. That's what it sound like. You know what his mother uh, ended up telling him, Nick? Telling the nigga? You was living with your mother, nigga, when I met you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so <laughs> how the fuck am I supposed to put my son out? Like you bugging? Like what the fuck is you talking about? But this is something that goes on in, in, in general society. Me, me, you ain't got to get. If you my family, if I love you, I don't love all my family. But if I love you, you ain't got to pay a dime to stay with me and shit. I put the whole bill with shit. You know what I'm saying? I had an uncle that was. Came home from the pen, man. He was institutionalized like a motherfucker stuck in his way. Da, da, da. He ended up having to live with me and shit. And charge this nigga a dime, man. Whatever disability money you get in welfare. No, I don't want none of that shit, my nigga. Get right, my nigga. And everything gonna be all right because you here with me and shit. Like, we good and shit. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no fee on this shit. You my family. You my father's little brother and shit. I'm gonna treat you how my pops would treat you and shit. You know what I'm saying? 
my pops didn't even fuck with the nigga like that. And ultimately, I had to kick the nigga out of my house. But <laughs> that's the family shit, man. Like, out of all things that I had to kick this nigga out, the, out my crib for, man, this nigga didn't want to give me a fucking ride to the airport, man. I went ape shit on this nigga. I ain't charged you no money, nigga. You don't want to give me no rides. Family shit. But, nah, my family ain't. Nah, fuck no. You ain't got to give me no bread. Like, if it's. You ain't got nowhere to go, especially one of my kids. And I'm, I, I be at odds with my sons and shit like that. A couple of them, I don't fuck with them like that. You know what I'm saying? But if you was down bad and you needed some place to be and you didn't have any alternatives and shit, like, I'm not going to charge you. you. I'm not going to charge you. I brought you into this world. Why would I charge you? Why would I make you a tenant? <laughs> That's some nigga shit, man. That's some nigga shit. And it's well documented that uh millionaires uh you know people that invented things bill gates all types of powerful people steve jobs was going through situations where they had to be at home or they couldn't you know before they took off when they was trying to get their dribble right creating that microsoft shit and all of that niggas is doing that shit and they fucking people create man like and nobody says anything about that so yeah we're gonna uh stand down on that whole issue um I, I made it a point to get on here this afternoon again because I've been reading, listening to a lot of philosophers and they said, whatever everyone else is doing, make sure you do the total opposite. So I've been putting more emphasis on um, putting out podcast episodes and shit. I'm starting to like really fall into my get. I'm starting to really, really get my stride in regards to the podcast situation. Uh, the money, the money aspect, it don't mean nothing to me. Y'all see, I just copyrighted this shit for Biz Markey. I need some dope. We That's what we need in this game. We need dope out here. Like, people ain't putting out no dope, man. It's too much emphasis on nigga shit. Nigga shit. When you cut on your, your computer, what dominates the search engine? Charleston White. Keefe D. Uh, you know, whoever got killed recently and shit like that, like Hassan Campbell and Gilly, like, you know, whatever, whatever general nigga shit that's going on is promoted before the art form of hip hop. And that's fucked up. That's so fucked up. I believe that people have came to the conclusion that they probably can make more money doing the bullshit online. Speaking of the bullshit online, I got to touch on this before I get out of here because... I'm biased. Anyway, Joe Button ain't gonna be the only one to say that your that, that your album was mid grade, my nigga Drake. Joe Button jumped out there and said the music wasn't no good. I had to double back and listen to it. I'm not a Drake fan, fan but I'm in tune with what's going on. I went and listened to the to his latest offering. That shit is nothing, yo. <laughs> that shit is nothing, man. And he caught feelings uh, behind Joe Button's comments on his finished product, many, many people critique critique music and shit. Somebody like Drake, he's high profile. We gonna critique his shit. Joe Budden spoke on it and he caught feelings and took the Instagram about it, ridiculing Joe and talking about money and shit like that, calling Joe Budden a failed rapper. I at no point considered Joe Budden a failed rapper and shit. He's one of the top dudes come out the East Coast in the last 20 years and shit, straight like that. Uh, he retired on his own to do podcasts, and that's a personal decision. Me personally, I think he can do both on the highest level. Everybody else that ran the podcasting probably didn't have a shot. Fat Joe, his uh, his ghostwriter, T.A., blew his cover. Mano can't rap. Just keep on going through the... Math Hoffa, he wasn't a good battle rapper and shit. Like, you keep going through, just keep keep going through it, going through it. And you probably going to see people that really didn't have no other choice. You know what I'm saying? But Joe Budden had a choice. At any time, Joe Budden could jump back in that booth and be one of the top niggas. If you pay attention to his history, whenever he in an issue with somebody, it's one of the top niggas. It's always one of the top niggas. You know why? He know he can back that shit up. He know he can back that shit up. Look at his history. Look at the people that he be jumping out there and getting in conf conflict with. Went through something with Jay-Z about um, the pumping up beat. 
Boom. He just told Eminem, who had signed him to Slaughterhouse, I, nigga, I've been better than you for the last 10 years. He just told him that. These is all the top guys, alleged, you know, according to general consensus, these are all the top guys, Hove, Eminem, and now Drake said the music is booty. Don't it sound like he running around barking up them trees, Nick? That's just... <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I like that about him, man. I like that about him. You know what? Ain't nobody ever put him in his place. Besides that Wu Tang situation, when you know they punched on him and shit. But on the microphone, ain't nobody ever put him in his place. For real, like some niggas just they just like that. He one of the niggas just like that. So in regards to the Drake situation, and 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 on top of all of it. On top, on top of all of this, um, Drake is reputed to have had ghostwriters and shit. He 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 makes the fuck out of a song. Don't get get it fucked up, man. I told y'all, I, I Drake make PA knit music. When you put on your fly knit and get all fly and shit like that, that's the type of ambience you want. You want a little Drake in your life and shit. But when it comes to the MCing thing, and that's what. Uh, Joe Button was saying like, man, this shit ain't like that. He ain't really like that. I don't think people, his music is good. I very, very rarely have heard Drake put out anything that wasn't good. His collabs are incredible. But when I think about MCs and shit, he's just not, he's not somebody that comes into my mind and shit. He, he, he isn't. And I believe he wants that. I believe he